fundamentals of the form seven. Uh, the form seven is one of six forms that my instructor assigned me to create for my school. The way it happened was uh, for my six degree black belt test, uh, actually five forms. She wanted me to create five forms, five black belt forms, and I thought, easy, no problem. But then she said they have to be good enough to where you use them at your school from here for the rest of time. That, of course, made it much more of a challenge because now it wasn't just an artistic expression of something that to get me through my test, it was something I had to use forever. So I put a lot of work and a lot of thought into these forms. Um, the first degree form, called seven, has a lot of basai and choreo in it, incorporated into the form. And the reason I did that is just to pay respect um, to my roots. Uh, we come from a Taekwondo, um, Tang Soo Do, and Aikido, and Tai Chi even background, so I include both the Korean forms, the Japanese forms, a lot of Aikido, and some Tai Chi in all the forms that I created. And then, of course, there's just some fun stuff too. So, the first part of seven, whereas Basai starts here, moves the left foot first, like that. In seven, we chamber this way, still move the left foot first, this hand comes out, left foot first, right foot goes behind, and we do um, this style of a punch and guard our elbow, right there. This way, so you only do two steps. From here, chamber, one, two, with the key out. Now your hands are already fixed for the next move, which is the right foot steps backwards. You do an inside chop, followed by a punch. Then this hand does an inside chop, followed by a punch. And then uh, the way I like to get power from this is to bring this hand, the left hand, back to the right. Big chamber, stick block, stick block, pull out, key up. Here's a similar to Basai, but it adds our own flair to it. A down block and a punch. This hand starts with an outside block punch. This hand starts with a high block punch, with a high punch, and then one punch to grow on. So you end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven. What do you know? Seven moves. Then we have two Tai Chi moves here. This is called stroking the horse's mane in Tai Chi. It can be looked at uh, there's a couple of different interpretations. One is a block, two blocks simultaneously. Another one is, is in Aikido what we call a kokunage. Christopher, if I can borrow your face up. With a kokunage, I've had my hand grab here, so I push it down this way, and I step here, and I split his energy apart in order to throw him down. And that's exactly what it looks like in the form. Thank you, Christopher. And we have two of those, followed by a line. That's kind of our own thing where we have a side kick, step down, turn around, crescent kick, height with a key up, two back fists. This is designed so somebody my age, 50 years old, can do it, or somebody younger can insert a jump. So the way I would do the form is a kick, step down, turn, kick, <coughs> one, two. It's designed, however, if Christopher could come up, if you're down on your first set of legs, you can have the jump. Just like that. Thank you very much, Christopher. Um, and you do the same thing coming back, and then you have a middle block, a middle block, and a reverse spear hand. Then we have what's called a pin counter. This leg steps up, the other leg steps up, block punch, now we're basically into cordial. So you can watch cordial for this whole section. With the exception of when we step through here, in seven we do a roundhouse kick. That's it, otherwise it's exactly like a choreo. Uh, then when we're done, starting back down the middle, we have a chop and a chop. What do you know in the shape of a seven? Inside, outside. So you've got a triangle, one, two, and three at the end. Chop, chop. Uh, I'll do these parts facing the camera, even though they happen this way in the form, uh, facing you to start. So you have a chop, chop. You hear something behind you, so you just twist your feet. Now you're at a down block over the front knee. And you step back, for an inside block. What's happened here, if I could bar you again, please, Chris. Somebody's punched, you've done an inside block. You catch his sleeve and pull him on forward and trap his head. Then you pull his hand over his head and you step forward and push him down. Thank you very much, Christopher. So, if I started the form facing you, it would be this way. Chop and a chop. 
turn, step back, inside block, grab his sleeve, pull it down, trap his head, pull his sleeve over his back, and shove it over his head, making him have to fall. Now there's somebody coming to stab me with a knife, I parry it away, this hand clotheslines, we turn all the way around, and we are into Basai. The ending is exactly like Basai. And that is pretty much seven. Thank you for watching and have a good time working on seven.